thought that I was gonna stick to neutrals and red tones for my entire life, but no, you're wrong. So today I'm showing you guys how I got this look here. It was like kind of inspired by this album. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but here we go. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then you guys can go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I already did this eye. I have like some glitter fallout because I was going to do glitter. I did it on this eye, but it came out terrible. So I took it off and now we're going to do this look, which is totally different from what I had originally planned, but it's cool beans. Goes to show that sometimes things don't turn out the way you want, but they come out better anyway. So moral of the story is I don't lose. We're gonna go ahead and prime our eyes. I'm using why the f why did I just do that? I'm going to use this little brush. It's just like a random brush that I got off Amazon. And I'm going to put a solid layer of my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade light medium. I'm just gonna apply it with a brush just so that I get like a thicker layer on there. This eye is a little bit sensitive because I did just do eyeshadow on there and wipe it off like harshly so if it's a little bit red that's why. So I'm gonna make sure it's covered and then I'm going in with my Morphe 35B palette. This is the only palette that we're gonna be using today. It's one of my favorites. I know that they don't sell it anymore but I think Coastal Scents has a palette that's super, super similar to it. So I'm pretty sure like all of the shades that we have in here, you can get on there. And they sell that one at Ulta. I know I've seen it. It's like the Take Me to Brazil palette, something like that. I'm getting this white shade. What the fuck? We're getting this white shade here. Since we're working with really bright colors, you want to keep it. I want to keep it clean, keep it white. You know, not many times I'll say that, but today is one of them. My brush looks so pretty. Wow. Uh, this is the Morphe M514. As you guys know, this is my favorite crease brush ever. And we're just going to use this bright pink right here. Pop this onto the brush, and then we're going to put this right onto the crease. And I want this to be pretty, like, opaque, so we're going to go in with quite a bit and just use um what is this this is a windshield wiper motion so i'll zoom you guys in and we're just gonna build that up and then we're gonna go in with purple but you just want to make sure that the pink doesn't like get lost in the sauce you feel me so that's why you want to make it like pretty solid please don't look at my nose pimple please spare me Okay, so now that we've built up the pink, you could see that I took it like pretty much all the way up to my brow bone just because that's like the lightest shade that I'm gonna use. Now we're going in with the Boulevard B9 brush. This is one of my favorite, favorite brushes. I use this one in like pretty much all of my videos just so I'm going in with this purple shade right here. Why did I do that? And then we're going to put this right into the crease keep it in the crease you don't want to blend it up too much but you want to build it up if that makes sense keep it in the same area but just keep adding and adding until you get it to like the depth that you want but don't move it around too much and to put this in i use like a mix of like little circular motions and then like windshield wiper motions you'll see once i zoom you guys in but yeah Okay, so I don't really do like all the purple that I plan to do. I just get like a, a solid blend. And now I'm going to go in with my uh, Morphe M138 brush. And then I'm using this purple shade right here, which is a bit more of a blue purple mixed with this. But most of this one, I'm going to put this one right into the outer third and then just blend it into the crease. But we're not blending up. So this is going to stay focused right out here and then blend in but not up. And that's just what I'm gonna keep doing for like the next 
15 minutes just keep adding those purple shades until i get them to the depth that i like and you want to keep it focused out here for the darkest part and then move inwards most of the time i won't put as much shadow in here but i want to make sure that this whole like okay let me zoom you guys in so i can tell you so i want to make sure that this part for through this part is all really opaque and dark and the only part you want to keep light is around here where we're going to put the blue you just keep adding the purples and then mixing it in and every once in a while i go back in with my very first brush and then go in with the pink and just give it like a wash over to make sure that it doesn't get lost a big baller tip that i have for you guys a tip that's like saved my life so many times is when i'm doing looks like this that i want sorry when i'm doing looks like this that i really like need a super good blend i look down here i'm gonna go back i look down and then i hold my brush like this and then go back and forth and do the little spots that i need and you guys can see the difference in the blend when you like hold your wrist above so if you're going like this it won't really work as well but once you go like this you get the brush right in the spot that you need to blend out so just keep adding the purples and then what i mean by going in with like a wash of pink is get a dab bam 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 so going back in with the purple and just keep building that up Okay, so now that I have that to pretty much the depth that I want, I'm going in with this Morphe brush. It's just like a packy brush. And then with this shade right here, which is the blue shimmery one, I'm not going to wet it at first. I'm just going to apply it dry. And we're going to see how this works. I'm not carving anything out just because I want it to be like a bit more of a soft blend. If you want like a cut crease, you could go ahead and add the concealer. But I do not want that today. So we're just adding this. I just put this on to see like how it's coming together because once I see like how bright the blue is I know how much more purple and how much more pink to add if that makes sense now that I see that I want the purple darker and the pink got a little bit lost I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of everything and it's just easier to see like what you need so let's see if we're seeing the same thing I need more purple like inside here I think I need I think I need more pink okay and I think I'm pretty much am I done no I think I want the purple darker so I'm going to add more purple and then to blend like the purple and blue together a little bit I use a mix of these two shades, the purple and then the blue that's right under the shimmery one. It's like a navy blue kind of, but it looks super pretty once you blend it in there. Like so. I'm gonna go ahead and get a makeup wipe and then clean up the edge a little bit, then I'll be back. gonna wait for my face to dry and then i'm going to do my face makeup yeah really excited face makeup is like my favorite part of my makeup and i actually really like how this came out i feel like once i add lashes and everything it'll look like better too <sighs> why am i sweating i'm using my maybelline baby skin primer only because it matches my eyeshadow this all over my face 
super, super essential to moisturize your lips because you do not want to be crusty, dusty, misty. So now for foundation, I recently got the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. So I've just been testing it out. I've only used it one time. By recently, I mean yesterday. So I'm going to try it out today again. This shade is a little bit too dark for me. So I mix it with my NYX Total Control Foundation. This one is like super, super liquidy. And this one is a little bit thicker. So mixing the two consistencies is good for me. I'm going to get one pump of my lock. Why am I holding things like this? I'm going to get one pump of my Kat Von D. And and then go in with this next one. I already feel like I have to blow my nose. Why do I always have to blow my nose whenever I'm about to do my foundation? What kind of scam? And I know it's still gonna look dark on me, but once I do like my concealer and my powder and stuff, it'll it'll match, trust. I won't be looking like an Oompa Loompa forever, just for like a minute or two. These are my Morphe M44. Shouts out Jay-Z and blending this out. Someone in my last video said that my sponge was busted and you know what sis, you're right. But am I gonna get a new one? Probably not. So I forgot to say what I've been doing, but I just used my concealer. I used the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium, and then I blended that all over my under eyes, like my jawline, and then around my forehead a little bit, just because my foundation, as I said, is a little bit too dark, so I just want to even it out. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Fenty Translucent Pot. Why am I sounding like a frog? What, 50-year-old smoker? Um, now I'm going to be using my Fenty Translucent Powder and I'm just going to set my entire face. Uh. Excuse me. Now I'm going to be using my Real Techniques brush and just dust off. Personally, I like to finish my eyes before I go in and do the rest of my face just so that I could have it done. I'm going in with this tiny little brush. This one right here. This one doesn't have a name. It's from a set in Morphe, so they don't name their sets. But I'm going in with the and I'm putting this as close to my lash line, my lower lash line, as I can get it. Keeping it right onto the lash line. And I'm going to put the purple under it. So I just want to make sure that this stands out a little bit. And then I'm going in with my Morphe M318, or what is this, M? What the fuck? Yeah, M318, and I'm going in with the purple, and then just blending it out under. I kind of just made that up right now. Um, I should have planned it out. Probably would have come out a little bit better if I did, but oh well. And then I'm just connecting it at the end, like so, and then blending in. I contoured my face, so went a little overboard with the forehead contour, but whatever, it's cool beans, we fixed it. And then I highlighted my face using my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I'm not doing my inner corner highlight just because I feel like it wouldn't really look good. Mix brown and then um, MAC Honey Love right on top of it. That's my go-to combo 
I'll probably die with this combo on. Tell me. Tell me I didn't do that. I think I'm gonna go with something a little bit more pink. Yeah, I'm gonna put CoverGirl Current Nude right on top of that. I'm using these lashes. These are from Vanity Box La Puente and they are in the style Who's the Boss? Big mood. Is someone calling me? to take like the fast L ever. I was about to start taking out my lashes and my makeup and everything and then I realized I hadn't filmed an intro or an outro. So that was pretty much it for the tutorial. This is how the whole look came out. I finished it off with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray which also matches. You know, you know how it be. If you guys want to see more like colorful looks, let me know what other colors you want me to do. But I'm super down to keep doing them because I really like the way that this one came out. I think this is like a wearable one too, to be honest. So if you guys recreate it, make sure you send me the pictures, tag me, you know the deal. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time and thank you for watching. Bye.